In this video, I want to set the record straight when it comes to the Tesla Cybertruck's windshield wiper. Will a Cybertruck feature the laser technology that Tesla recently patented, or will it feature a huge single windshield wiper? Here's why I believe it'll actually include both the lasers and the huge windshield wiper, but I believe it's not going to be integrated in the way you might think. So let's dive into the details. Here at the beginning of the video, I wanted to introduce to you the first issue of Cleaner Watt Magazine, and it's the 2022 Electric SUV Buyer's Guide. If you go over to cleanerwatt.com, and I'll put a link in the video description as well, you can purchase a downloadable digital copy of this magazine issue. It features over 60 pages of content, a number of great articles, and also a series of comparison charts. Once again, this is a digital magazine. There are no paper copies available, but you can get your copy right now if you go over to cleanerwatt.com and click on the magazine tab, or if you click on the link that I'll put in the video description as well. In September of this year, Tesla was granted a patent that described a very futuristic way to clean a vehicle's glass with lasers. This patent has gained a lot of attention and it seems like many people believe that this laser system is designed to replace traditional windshield wipers. However, when you actually dive into the patent wording, it becomes pretty clear that these lasers built into a vehicle are not made to replace windshield wipers, but are made to be used in conjunction with windshield wipers. It appears like this laser technology is designed for cleaning dirt and other debris from glass surfaces and not necessarily to expel water from the windshield while driving. Here are a few important key quotes from this particular patent that really further clarify what these lasers are for and what they're made to replace. First of all, Tesla describes this technology by calling it a cleaning apparatus and method for pulsed laser cleaning of debris accumulated on glass articles. Notice that in Tesla's description, they specifically mention the cleaning of debris. Later on in the patent, Tesla actually goes on to describe what they mean by debris when they say, examples of different debris that may be accumulated on the glass article may include, but are not limited to, snow, water droplets, paint, bird droppings, bug splats, plant sap, oil spills, grimes, dirt, and mud. Now do note in that list that snow and water droplets were listed. However, and I'll talk more about this in a minute, I don't believe that these lasers are made to replace traditional windshield wipers for driving down the road with huge amounts of rain hitting the windshield. I believe they're more geared towards cleaning the debris like they mentioned, like the bird droppings and the, the dead bug splatter, etc. This understanding seems to be further strengthened when Tesla contrasts in this patent what these lasers are made to replace. Tesla goes on to say, conventionally, different automated solutions for cleaning glass articles in vehicle or photovoltaic assembly usually rely on either a physical contact of a robotic brush with the glass articles or usage of sophisticated chemical solutions, for example, a soap solution that may be sprayed over the glass articles. And in contrast, they mentioned the cleaning apparatus, talking about the laser cleaning apparatus, provides a fast, robust and chemical-free solution to clean different glass articles in vehicles and solar voltaic facilities. Notice that Tesla is talking about this technology replacing chemicals to clean a windshield and not windshield wipers themselves. Additionally, this patent goes on to talk about how this laser technology system can be integrated with other systems like ones that use a wiper. Quote, the solution can be integrated with other cleaning solutions that use wipers, water, or air sprays or chemical solutions to clean glass articles. So as you can see, when you actually read through the wording of this patent, it becomes pretty clear that this technology is not meant to replace windshield wipers, but it's actually meant to be used in conjunction with windshield wipers. And it also makes sense too, because I can see lasers cleaning off debris on a windshield, for instance, but I don't necessarily see them expelling large amounts of water off your windshield when you're going down the highway at like 60, 65 miles an hour or more. Now there is one side note in this patent that I thought was kind of interesting because they do address the safety of these lasers. I know when you first think about lasers on a windshield or other parts of glass in the vehicle, it kind of seems like that maybe they could be kind of dangerous, but Tesla makes sure that this patent addresses that as well. The exposure level may be controlled such that the laser beam that is pulsed at a calibrated rate penetrates a depth that is less than the thickness of the glass article. 
So that first description seems to talk about a calibrated laser that's only as powerful as it needs to be to remove the debris on the windshield. Tesla then goes on to talk about an additional safety method that can be used, and that's an additional coating or a barrier coating that could be implemented into the glass. This patent goes on to say, alternatively, a laser barrier coating, for example, indium 10 oxide, may be further applied as a protective coating on or layer within the glass article to facilitate absorption, reflection of a portion of energy of the laser beam. So now that we've talked about lasers, I would now like to move over to a technology that probably will be built into the Tesla Cybertruck. And I believe it will actually have a large single mono windshield wiper. However, it's not going to be always visible when you're driving, but it's going to be stored down, I believe, into the hood of the vehicle as another Tesla patent application describes. This patent application that I'm referring to is entitled Electromagnetic Windshield Wiper System, and it describes a single wiper blade that stores under the hood when not in use. Here's a key quote from that patent application that really describes what it is. When not in operation, the control circuitry causes a linear mono wiper to be stored beneath the hood of the vehicle. This improves the aerodynamic performance of the vehicle during operation, especially at high speeds, and reduces exposure to environmental damage like direct sun exposure. So rest assured, I don't believe that you'll actually have a huge windshield wiper on the side of the Cybertruck front windshield, but it'll actually be stored down when you're not driving. And whether or not we actually see this laser technology be built into the Cybertruck at first, I believe this will be the solution for the windshield wiper for the Tesla Cybertruck. With that in mind, I want to talk about a few other updates with the Cybertruck that have recently been announced officially, and we can talk about those as well. First of all, the Cybertruck reservation page on Tesla's website no longer has any pricing details or any details about what variants will actually be available. But thankfully, it still allows you to reserve one for $100. In addition, Tesla has removed any of the dates when it comes to estimated production for the Cybertruck. On December 3rd, Elon mentioned on Twitter that the initial production of the Cybertruck will be for a four-motor variant. This, of course, was somewhat surprising because previously they only talked about having a single, a dual, and a tri-motor variant, and they mentioned nothing about a quad-motor variant. Elon also mentioned on Twitter that the Cybertruck will have four-wheel steering and will be able to drive diagonally like a crab, very similar to how GMC with their Hummer EV can do what they call crab walk. So the question now remains, will Tesla still have the single motor variant or will they only offer a dual and a quad motor variant? And will the tri-motor variant be a thing of the past? Will it never be produced? Also, it'll be interesting to see if the price has changed quite a bit, if they go up quite a bit from when Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck. Thankfully though, we should have answers to these questions pretty soon as Elon mentioned on Twitter, product roadmap update on next earnings call. So the Q4 2021 Tesla investors conference call is going to be an exciting one. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below what you think about this laser technology that I've mentioned and also the huge mono wiper that should be stored under the hood of the Cybertruck. Do you think I'm right about these lasers not replacing the windshield wipers? And also, if you're a Cybertruck reservation holder, what do you think about some of these updates and the potential changes like the quad motor variant and the four wheel steering? And are you concerned about the price changing significantly when Tesla does release further details about the Cybertruck? Do let me know in the comments section below. Once again, I'd like to remind you to go over to cleanerwatt.com and click on the magazine tab, or if you go and click on the link in the video description where you can purchase your copy of the 2022 Electric SUV Buyer's Guide. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.